at the doctor's office. A week and a half more till due date. No. Coming close. I don't want to get my cervix checked because I don't really want to know because it's going to make me stress out or think about it to have numbers put behind whatever's going on. Meaning like if they check your cervix and tell you how dilated you are right now. Yeah. You don't want to know that. I mean, I guess it'd be fine. But yep. But. I just don't. I'm already like. We we can always request an ultrasound though too and yeah. see which way he's facing. Yeah. And we could probably get more details like weight and stuff too if you want to know those things. That's but what I was thinking. I don't know we can request that. And it's okay. probably better to do it sooner than later. Agree. So anyways, we're here. We're What's here. up? Getting that ultrasound. She just walked in and was like, oh maybe with the ultrasound machine actually. I think we should do it just because we haven't checked your cervix. We're like perfect. I love it. Perfect. All right, just got out of our appointment. We decided to drive by. She goes, you guys know where to go when, like, if this happens? We were like, no. <laughs> I mean, we know which hospital we're giving labor at, but. But she said it's like a small door, so we're just yeah. gonna drive by real quick. So we're gonna drive by and do a little preview of where we're gonna need to go. Oh my God, that freaks me out. Why? That's just, it's we really turn real. turn right here, and you're gonna be going through like your a kind of a hard contraction, like they were almost there. Oh, that's a big sign. We're almost there. Okay, right here. Women's and children's. Yeah, we're almost there. Shut Shut up. There. Okay. Oh my god, you're gonna. I'm gonna be like literally. Get the Shut fuck the off me. fuck up. <laughs> okay, so it's okay, in so right, it's right here. here. Oh, and that's the entrance. Be careful. I'm gonna trip this man out, thinking that we're actually having an emergency. Okay, so it's gonna be in there. Oh, we should be emergency. in there. Oh. Is there a valet? Or do I drop you off? I don't You're think there's valet. Me. Patient parking. Hopefully there'll be some spots open. Should I just risk it and like park on the curb like you did at the Titans game? I don't talk about it. Titans got a little cool name. It's a cool name. It's Natit spelled backwards. Okay. Alright. Um, like let's see, like for instance right now there's a spot right there. Like, Boom. Oh, that's that's handicap. handicap. Does this yeah, qualify you as handicap? You probably just have to drop me off and I'll check in. When you're in an emergency, is handicap legal? Um, I don't know about that. You'd think they'd be expecting mother parking. <laughs> you think there would be, like a whole front row. Like, come on. Okay, well, we know where to go. Yeah, we'll be good. Yes, okay, so oh, what I was gonna say was the last time that, last appointment I was at, she was like, bags all packed for the hospital. I was like, no, absolutely not. not. I was like, but you know, I'll get there. And then this time she goes, okay, so do you have your bags packed? And I was like, actually no, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. And she goes, yeah, we just have it ready. I'm like, okay, <laughs> shit, so I gotta go home and do that. There's a few things we probably need to get ready. Yeah, we need to wash our blanket and I need to order you a blanket on I, Amazon. I ordered a blanket. I need you, a baby. freaking blanket. You're gonna be sleeping, the, yeah, you need a blanket. I'm gonna Amazon you right now. Well, she's the hospital sheets, I get hot. I'm a sweater. We have a nice birth plan put together. Yes, we do. But I feel like you kind of go off that plan. I, I agree. Well, we really need to go over our coping techniques. Okay, we're gonna go print out our birthing plan. We're gonna print out our birthing plan because she kind of freaked me out like that. Maybe like this could happen quick. She said it could. She said probably more like, she's like, you're 38, so it could technically, 38 weeks, so it could technically happen, but she's like, probably more around 39, and I'm like, I thought you said 40. And then the, the doulas are saying 42. Mm-hmm. He might, he might be here, he might be here like early next week. We need to, we need to take some baby one-on-one -on -one classes pretty quickly. I know. Put them on the cow. <laughs> Okay, well, everything went well. We know where the hospital is. We're gonna be fine. Baby's we good. We make jokes. We make jokes about that stuff, mm -hmm. but it's like we have our shit together. Yeah, we're Thanks. good. We're talking about packing for the hospital. The hospital. I'm like, should I go home and do that now? We, should, we probably should, just knowing like you're full term and you can go into labor at any moment. But what's funny is. I think both of us are kind of this way. We're kind of the type of people, like, we're, la we're last minute packers, even on vacations. Yeah. Because you don't know how you're going to feel. No. 
You know, are you gonna want to style your fits? Are you gonna try them all on before what you? What mood are you gonna be in? <laughs> you want mood? white exactly. sweatsuit or a black sweatsuit? What kind of PJs are you packing? I know exactly. Are I have you... like literally three possible pair of pajamas that I would want. Why don't you pack all three? One's black, one's white, and one's beige. It's the 18th. 18th so <gasps> nine days. So when is that next? When's the 27th? That's next Saturday. She comes on a Saturday. Yeah. And your your due date's on a Tuesday. Yeah. It's freaking close. We're about to have a baby on our hands. Yeah, I'm nervous. Are you nervous for the baby or nervous for labor? Or both? I think more labor. Because that's all I can like see right now. I'm like more excited to like meet the baby. But I mean that's going to be a whole other slew of things. But I think the labor is like top of mind. Alright, let's put the car seat in. Let's put the car seat in. Prep starts now. I love it on the vlog. Here's the Spooky, where? Did you get spooked? What happened? Come here. I was giving you a hug hogs. Can't get in the car. No, 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 no. The car. I just want hugs and kisses. Okay. Decided to bring the the Uppa baby because I think it'll be here. No, the dinner probably is way more practical, but we're doing it. Oh, I hit the brake. But do you have to detach it all? Like, do you have to take this out? Just look up a YouTube video. Oh. <laughs> now. <laughs> now, how do we do this part? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, what about these? Aha! There we go. Beautiful. And then if we're going down for a nap, just move them into something that's a little easier and yeah. easier to get snugger. Okay. 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 All right. As tight as you can pull. And that's typically once I start pulling when I pick them up so I can get it all the way around them okay. and pull really tight. There you go. And so, yep, that little tail right there is what you're going to okay. want to tug. But you have to hide that one. You're good. And then you're going to pull as tight as you can. Yeah. And tuck it in there. Okay. Beautiful. And you have a burrito. Perfect. <laughs> That okay. was actually a really good swaddle. Yeah. Okay. Well done. All right, Dad. Right. Your turn. Let's see if you can do this good. What blanket's supposed to go where? I don't know. There you go. And your baby is not going to be this big, so you're going to have extra to be able to actually tuck into pull super okay. tight. So this okay. is a very big baby that you're practicing on. Okay. And then no, so right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just had our baby 101 class for all of our postpartum and feeding care, breastfeeding demonstrations, um, diapering, just all sorts of stuff, just like basics, you know, literally baby 101. And I feel like it was a nice little just like session to have. Um, I did have a little bit of a meltdown after because I was like, <clears throat> that was a lot of information. It, it's just like these hormones which I, you know if you're pregnant, like they just rush over you and I'm like, I don't know if I'm overwhelmed by that or if I'm just hungry or if I'm tired, but I just like, I need to have a little cry. That was like a lot. Anyways, it was very informative though and I'm glad that we had it. Um, so yes, I am planning on trying to breastfeed, um, which I don't, yeah, I don't need anyone's opinion on like what they do or what works for them, whatever. Just letting you guys know that's what I'm going to try to breastfeed. Um, and I've also gotten some backup formula just in the case I have a full mental breakdown or I'm really struggling. Um, I just wanted to have some, some backup. So I've done my research on formulas and talked to a lot of people and I'm going with the hip formula from Europe. It is like pretty much the cleanest most organic formula that you can get. I got the goat's milk um, version from Germany um, because their standards are just a lot higher over there. So it's the it's just the cleanest that you can get. Basically, all of my friends use it. So that's what I did. I just got two boxes just to have for backup. We might like maybe I, I just don't know how breastfeeding is going to be. So I might end up I don't know like supplementing with bottles doing like a, a mixture um maybe just like for top off bottles i'm not really sure we might need some when my milk is still coming in i'm not tripping about it but 
we're just gonna have all the things that we might need just in case the other thing i wanted to show you guys i just got in another little baby clothes um box from atlas gray and i shared them on my instagram but i don't know if i've shared them on here and they're a canadian brand and they make the cutest baby clothes um i feel like it's almost like the clothes are almost like what i would wear as an adult it's like sweatsuits really like neutral soft fabrics everything's just like very cute and wearable and like not too loud um quality is really good and it's just adorable so i wanted to show you what they sent they have these really cute socks they're called slouch socks um so you can put them on over their leggings and kind of like bunch them oh they're so cute and they have really cute patterns we've got these little tie-dye ones pistachio these i think they call cookies and cream which is so cute some regular vanilla and then i love this fabric it's like birthday confetti so cute to play around with little outfits and just add some little socks with some texture it's a very stylish i love they also sent two little beanies which i'm so excited about because we haven't been able to find ones with like really really soft fabric this almost reminds me of like the kite baby fabric like that's how the nice like the texture of the fabrics are like really really nice um so they sent two sizes so this one will be when he's brand new and then this one is just a little bit bigger um for when he grows out of that so that's perfect he also sent some cute little bibs which we won't use till probably a little bit later but same super soft fabric and again just really cute neutrals ribbed oatmeal ivory gray and stripes which i love this is just so me um i like love this entire line i love everything from them okay so next we've got the cutest little outfits first up is this little striped guy with a little mini bestie um tee to match it which is so cute and i love that it's like a little set perfect for him next one which i loved i saw this on their instagram and i loved the future goat i'm like yes we love that energy for our baby um with a matching pair of little nude ribbed leggings which is just so cute fabric is so soft again everything's just awesome and then this is actually not lined with like fuzz or anything so it shouldn't be too hot or anything for summer another little gray one which is nice and boyish and these are all let's see this is zero to three months which is perfect because i don't want to buy too much newborn stuff um and this is also zero to three the charcoal color of these little ribbed leggings and then um the little future goat tee so cute and this you guys i'm freaking dead for this this is limited edition um but oh my god stop it like the shorts with the little hoodie it's just like too much i cannot handle zero to three months zero to three months so it's so flipping cute a little sweat set i just love it i adore it so much so thank you guys so much for sending that stuff they also sent me a package previously with a lot of like onesies and cute little things for um when he's a newborn so i just love building up his wardrobe it's so much fun I'm gonna cut all the tags off of these right now and throw them in the wash. Hey, furniture delivery, look what finally got here. You guys, we went through the ringer trying to find a freaking dining table. After we decided to order this one, we were unsure how we were gonna like the color of it in this place and we love it. I love it. Um, the only thing we couldn't tell, there were like no reviews on this table on Lulu in Georgia, which by the way, this table is 20% off right now um, until Memorial Day, I think, so take advantage if you want to get it or anything on their site but hunter is like really specific about, specific about wood quality because we don't like things that are like veneered kind of like fakey looking wood very picky about it so he was like i can't tell what the wood's gonna look like and i would say it looks super nice, satisfied right? yeah it's a really good quality wood yeah, and it came with a uh, leaf as well where you can extend it into an oval so this separates right here and then you can throw the leaf in and it creates a nice little oval. Yeah, you just pull it open. So we're, I feel like that's the perfect solution because now we can have it in a little circle if it's just Hunter and I and we don't want the big table, but we also have 
the middle so we can extend into an oval. Which, should we show it? Yeah, and right now it's not centered. It's like pushed yeah. further back that way. Um, we were just like trying it out. And we're trying to choose between these two chairs. Um, or maybe not these two chairs at all. Yeah. But we wanted to wait and see what these chairs look like with the table. And we do like the style of this one. But it's still kind of chunky. Yeah. We like this one, but it feels a little dark. I wanted variety in like material too. Like I seen both these chairs, I'm like, I just feel like it's the same textures everywhere. Mm -hmm. They kind of just want something different. I don't know. I do like the darker wood, like yeah. darker wood with the darker leather. Like I, we needed some of that in here, I think. Yeah. But once again, Juge has her blue clay on this one. <laughs> I know. And we can't tell like with this brown it's like darker brown is it too dark with like the black and stuff kind of or is it, i don't know we, we're unsure something about it is off i don't know it's not perfect i think we're digging the wrought iron of this one as like a different material yes, change yes. up kind of ties in with the hardware and stuff but i have some I chairs in mind that i really like i want to show you and i keep coming back to them but they're nothing special they're just I think they'll go really well. But don't you love the legs too? The legs I are sweet. The and the legs look even cooler when you pull it apart. Yeah. Yeah. A, B, or keep or looking. Or keep looking. Booker, what do you think? What do you think? Thang? What do you think, Thang? All right, let's put the leaf on and show what it looks like. And it's so easy too. Texas house. Mm -hmm. It's a great bowl. That was a good bowl. What are you up to? What did you do you something do? wrong? What did What'd you do? You, do? you look suspicious. Anywho. We've already eaten two meals on it. It is so fun. I know. <laughs> so fun. What's up? We got back from the gym like two hours ago and we have been working at our new table. Loving it. It's like our new workstation. I love it. Anyways. Wanted to pop on because we made a big crate and barrel order of some of the things that we saw at Crate and Barrel a couple of vlogs ago. God, it seems like it was like two months ago, doesn't it? Yeah. Remember when we went shopping in there a couple of weeks ago and we were picking out things and then we just ordered everything online so we're like, Don't you have to order it anyways. And, uh, so we'll show you what we got. We kind of wanted to do like a little, like, facelift for the kitchen not a facelift but a uh, you know like a little refresh we haven't really refreshed our silverware dishes cups or anything since like we've really years. been married so yeah. that's what we did oh i got a thing to make smash burgers I've been seeing the trends on TikTok lately, and I've always wanted to make smash burgers, so we might make smash burger tacos, try the TikTok trend, or just to make normal smash burgers on the cast iron skillet. Our favorite wine glasses, which we already own, but we've broken over time. We got these like for our wedding, um, but over time we have broken, we had a set of six, I think. We've broken like five of them. So we had to replace those. Um, so we got a fresh new set of six, I love the shape. I think they're really modern. Um, and yeah, I don't like like too old fashioned of a style of glass and also not too modern. So I feel like this is a nice in between. Um, really great, got the set of six. And I'm so excited to drink wine in like, um, let's see, month, a week technically, but we'll see whenever this baby comes out. I'm opening a nice bottle of red. The next thing we got was these little bowls. Now, we have our normal dishes. These are our normal size bowls. These are um, all our dishware is from Hudson Grace. And, and I think Crate and Barrel bought out Hudson Grace or something because they yeah. have this kind of line at Crate and Barrel and it's called the Marin. The Marin Collection, which I which want to just Hudson Grace's 
out of Marin, so I think that's why they named it that. Yeah, I'll um, link, link those below. But I needed like smaller bowls for like yogurt, parfaits, um, for ice cream or mixing sauces and stuff like that because those bowls are too big. So got these little guys and they're really cute. They're like sort of like an imperfect, like they look organic-y shaped, which I like. I don't like anything like too structured. So a nice little set of six of those. Great for like smaller bites, you know? I just noticed that I always go to grab for stuff like that. Also ordered a new set of some cocktail glasses. Wanted a smaller cocktail glass um, just to keep our portion smaller, I guess you could say. Uh, but something for like in the summer, like good for like small little greyhounds, whiskey, bourbon, you know, whatever, little gin drinks. But thought it was like kind of summery. And one, a lot of our current cocktail glasses, it's just like random glassware mismatched and stuff like that. So wanted a, a set of four. Next thing we got were two all clad nonstick pans. Um, we have this like janky ass pan that we cook our eggs in. And we, we mostly use the all clad system, just like the silver pans, but we were like, okay, should we just upgrade the, our non-stick one and get a nice one? It is like all beat up and scratched. I'll show it to you guys. Where is it? Here it is. I think they, I don't know where we got it, but it is like just. I think we got that like home goods or something. It's literally scratched and like disgusting. I mean, it's fine. It gets the job done, but we cook eggs like literally every day. So we were like, let's just get two little non-sticks. These are by All Clad, so they match technically like the brand of our other pans, which are are the stainless steel ones, which we do most of our main cooking in. But wanted to have these, and these are one eight inch and a one ten inch. So just like I don't know, two little nice little pans. Very excited. Have those? Can we wash these once? Maybe? Um, maybe just rinse You're supposed them. To wash but these? I don't. You're supposed to put pans in the dishwasher. Oh, dishwasher safe. Okay. These are nice. I like them. Yeah, they are nice. Um, right? I feel like they look nice. And cool. then lastly, we picked out some nice sleek cutting boards. Um, this is only like half of our order. The other half of the order hasn't come in yet. We still have like some silverware coming. We needed a refresh on some nice cutting boards. So we went with black, which I feel like matches the hardware of our current house. So we already have wooden like a couple wooden cutting boards. Yeah. They're just like sometimes annoying to clean. We like them for like cheese boards and stuff like that. But that's yeah. nice for like veggies and And something like when you're cutting chicken. onion, you don't want to do onion or like chicken on your wood boards because then they absorb like all of it. Um, but we have this like one cutting board that we use. Again, it's really gross. You can't tell, but it's like been stained and like, I don't know, it's just nasty. I, we've just had it for so long and it's really beat up. So it time. it's just time for like a nice little refresh. So we got the three different sizes and they have little non grip slips on them and they just look sleek and we like them. So very happy about that. We also got the matching white wine glasses to these and, and a set of six as well. Um, so we're just waiting for those to come in and then some silverware. And I forget what else we got, but we'll show the rest of it when it arrives. What, have we, what else did we get? Um, can't remember. We decided on neither of these two chairs. And I think we kind of alluded to that when we talked about it the yeah. other day or earlier in this vlog. We're just not um, doing it. But we're going to check out a couple others. I text the girl in Vision 2 and she's like, I don't like either of them either. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. For, the, for this space. For this space. We love these. Yeah. And she, the owner of Envision actually yes. has these. We love these. This but is her chair from her wide. house. Actually, I, I'm obsessed with this chair and I thought for sure this was going to be the one, but I just feeling like with everything else, it's not going, mm -hmm. um, but it is such a beautiful chair. So we're going to keep hunting for the right chair for yeah. in here. Yeah. Um, and we'll figure it out. But till then, continued. let's continue on the rest of this day. Hopefully we can find some soon. We gotta get off. All right. Next day, just unbox this for the guest bedroom shower downstairs. And we also got our... New silverware. silverware. Check it out. Spoons are so fun. I know Those they are. For round. Oh, cool. Small forks, big forks, big spoon. Oh my god, they're so fun. <laughs> Gorgeous. Nice. Cute. These are pretty big. 
I guess that's for like soup and stuff. Yeah, it's nice. <clears throat> cool. Fun. What's up everybody? Good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning right now and Julia's water broke at 5.30. So I am trying to get the car set up. We're not, we're not in any rush, it's like pretty chill. We're really calm right now. Uh, but I'm just trying to prep the car ahead of time. Just with uh, the car seat, put that back in the car since a lot of y'all told us to take it out and put the stroller in and stuff like that for the ride home. But her water broke at 5.30, she woke me up. Um, we hung out for like 20 minutes just chatting. We took a bath for about 20 minutes. And uh, she got back in bed and then I tried to like sleep a little longer just to get some rest so she is rested up and prepared for labor today. So I'm going to do this real quick and then if she's up I'll have her say hello before we end the video. I was going to do a recycling run today. Doesn't look like that's happening. It's a big day, an exciting day. And it's funny, Julie and I both called that she would go into labor on the 26th. Earlier this week, I was like, hey babe, what day do you think they're going to labor? And she was like, the 26th. I was like, me too, that's what I was thinking. So, let's see if she's awake. Hi. You awake? What? You awake? Yeah, <laughs> like trying to go to sleep. <laughs> you can't? It's a little hard. Buddy, do you know? You know something? Sure. Those are my socks. Give me those. Lay down. How are you feeling? I feel good. Nothing, no pain yet. Just dripping. I was telling them that uh, we both called the 26th. I know. How weird, right? I mean, technically, he might not be born today. Well, if your water breaks, it's usually within 24 hours. Right. So tomorrow. But, but it could be today or tomorrow. Yeah. And a lot of people think you. Like from movies that you rush to the hospital when your water breaks. But, but like you have so much time. You have so much time. So like her contractions and stuff haven't even started yet. Yeah. So I'm and gonna get in a nap. she's going to try to like do at least half of her labor. labor and contractions here at the house. I think we've said that. Yeah. So yeah, we we're just like now just waiting. I'm going to do some work and try to clean up the house and stuff. Your mom gets you tomorrow so can prep her room. Yeah, we usually didn't hang this towel up. So I took the cardboard time. out of the back and put it in the stroller. Okay. <laughs> Got all that work. I know, right? Yesterday. Oh, well, we can have your mom take it when she gets here. Yeah. Those are good tasks we need to, like, pass off to Nancy. I know. Okay, here you go. Go to, the, go to the recycling center. But I was going to try to take a nap, and then I thought we could make breakfast tacos. Mm-hmm. And then... You want know, to, like, walk to get coffee or something? Like, do you want to move around? Yeah. Well, Yeah. Probably once I'm woke up. Yeah. Um, oh, I was gonna see if maybe you could get me a pad because apparently the water. Breaks. I heard your sister saying that. Yeah, it, it leaks the whole day. Like she's like, it'll just keep refilling. She said it refills and keeps leaking. And it does keep up. And I'm like, yeah, because like I don't know what to do, but I don't have. Where, a pad where's on your me. pads? I don't have any. Okay, got it. Period. So you want me to go get somewhere else? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. <laughs> of course. Um, um, where would I go? Like just CVS or something? Probably. Okay, and it's just a pad. I don't know where the clothes one. I'll send you like a photo. It's just like a period pad almost. Um, Is that gonna be like enough? You gonna well, be changing it all day? Maybe I just like throw on like one of the diapers that I'll use after. Do you have them here? No, I don't have any. Oh, you don't have any diapers here? I don't have anything. Here. Can we buy one of those then? Yeah, maybe we just buy those. Okay. I'm gonna run, but anyways, y'all. I could probably do a delivery. Anyways, it is okay. happening, and we couldn't be more excited. I'm a little tired. She's tired. I know. Um, but it's gonna be a great day, and I'm just gonna get started on doing things so we are prepared. We're so happy that it started in the morning because we were like, we don't want like a midnight situation when then you're up all night like laboring. So we're like, we both were like, yes, it happened like first thing in the morning. So now we have a whole day. We've been talking about how we hope she goes into labor in the morning and. Here he is, baby H, already being obedient. Baby H, so sweet, thoughtful. Yeah. All right, y'all, it's happening. All right. Next video is the full labor video. Holy crap. It's going down. Yeah, it's Finally. weird to talk about it before it's happening. Like, I we knew don't know it was going to be early. I knew it. I had a feeling. It's happening, y'all. <laughs> be thinking about us, and uh, maybe by the time you see this video, 
he'll be here. He probably will be. We'll see. Anyways, love you guys. Love you. Stay tuned. See you on the other side. See you soon bye as bye. mom and dad. <laughs> bye. So Oh